Hey, guess what? You got an extra hour of sleep today thanks to daylight saving. Instead of sleeping in, though, you can make the most of today by saving some money. Financial expert Fred Kreutzer joins us now with five things you can do in 60 minutes or less that's going to save you some big time and money down the road. And we're all about saving money, Fred. All about saving money. <laughs> and that hour, we think about it, but that hour, we can use it towards a lot of good things. The first thing we like to start off with is, I know we don't like to talk about it, but Christmas is around the corner. <laughs> and the budgeting that we can do now with that extra hour, make sure you lay out a plan about what we plan to spend so we don't overspend and start paying that bill in January, February, and March. But make sure we have it in there. And not just is it what we buy for gifts. Not just a gift, yeah. It's going to the parties and bringing the wine bottle over and the food that it takes to have a party. So it's a lot of expenditures that we do during the holiday season. It's great to put a budget ahead of time and say, we're not going to go over this limit here because we got all our other bills as well. Maybe throw a potluck. Rather, everybody bring a dish Absolutely. rather than buying everything, right? What about um, organizing your accounts? Organizing your accounts is, I think, a great thing. Here's an extra hour. So many people, when they come in my office, they just bring statements and they're thrown together. They really aren't organized. I always say everybody should have a sheet where they have all the account numbers, where all their accounts are, because maybe a spouse doesn't know what you have. Sure. What if something happened to mom and dad? Are we organized that the kids can come in and find mom and dads? And organization is not just for financial, but it might be putting your doctor's names, your attorney names, and simplify so it is organized. If somebody has come behind you, you've done a good job and laid it out for them. But that's really huge. When something happens and somebody can come in my office, we have a plan, we know where all the accounts are. What about um, setting up your debt? Setting up debt, you and I were talking about it, as we always do. It's one of the big issues, but just because we're getting the hollies and we plan on spending, do not forgive what you got in debt. Continue to work towards knocking them out. Knock out them little ones and then just continue to focus on it. But don't let the holidays get away where we're still not doing that, knocking down our debt. You don't want to dig yourself out of that hole starting no. at the beginning of next year. Absolutely. All right, and right behind the holidays comes taxes, taxes, taxes. Yeah, start putting your stuff together. It's going to be here before you know it. But it's all about that organization. You know, we think about an hour and it's not a lot of time, but it is a lot of time. If you take that hour and you focus on it and you utilize it properly, you get a lot out of it. But let's get towards that new year. Year, but be careful in the hollies. It's coming around the corner. And look at the books. Yes, keep an eye on the books. There's a lot of folks when we look at our credit cards, we don't realize it. Maybe something we bought, maybe it's a subscription service two years ago, and we're still being charged every month. Focus Rattle. on your credit cards every month. Make sure nothing's coming out of the blue to hit you. Maybe some pre holiday cleaning of your accounts. And yes, because yes, there's there things in go. there that we're still paying for. We probably aren't. Really interested. I think we that's were some good that. advice. Sounds All right, good. Fred. Know who he's ready to, to go. go. He's leaving and we'll go right to the game. <laughs> All right, we'll have a good one. Now